Boom. High end radio, we on the air. Who is this? What's going on? It's your boy, Hayes Banger. Hey, what's going on, homie? How you been? I'm good, man. I'm super good. Super busy is what you really are, huh? That exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. We glad we finally got a chance to catch up with you, man. For those who don't know, go on and run it down to him on who Hayes Banger is. Um, I'm from San Diego. Um, I work with some of the biggest stars out. Um, Grammy nominated. Um, you know, humble, hardworking. <laughs> That's what's up. Go on and drop a couple names, man. Uh, Beyonce, um, Jay-Z, Brian Carey, M.I.A., you know, ECT. <laughs> That's what's up, man. See... Again, you know, a, a lot of cats might not know because, you know, they look around San Diego. Oh, no one from the town is making it. But they ain't got no clue, man. There's cats in this city that's working and grinding, man. And maybe you can enlighten us on what got you to the status of where you at. And congratulations on your Grammy nomination. Ah, thank you. Man, really just uh, getting out the... Well, first and foremost, just really working hard to master my craft. Like, you know, dedicating it all all day, every day, around the clock, just, you know, working on my beat, and just trying to get better as an um, artist, and, and then, uh, and then getting out my city, that's super important, a lot of people, you know, gotta just stay in San Diego, and just try to figure it out, but that's not the case, you gotta leave, you gotta get your music heard, you gotta get in those, you know, rub elbows with those right circles, you know, traveling, hop on a plane, in LA, two hours, you know, I'm mean, down, uh, down the street, I used to go to the Bay Area a lot, and just work out there, and do, you know, different connections, and stuff like that, so really, man, you working on, Becoming a master of your craft, because if, if you master it, man, then somebody's going to want something from you. You know what I mean? It's going to it's gonna turn into money. You know what I mean? Don't chase the dollar. Just go craft and you know, everything will line up for you. And keep the world, man. Simple as that, man. Grinding. I recall a few months back, I had ran into you at, at a meeting of the minds. What was your relationship to that and your purpose of being there? Um, I, My dad, you know, he... He's really around the city, like he does a lot of networking and stuff like that. He uh, he manages my brother Ahmad, and I was actually uh, I was visiting in town, and um, there was an artist. There was uh, I forget the name of it, but there was there was something going on downtown. There was a couple of events, but it was uh, like an artist showcase. And I was actually you know just checking out a few of the local artists, and then we actually stopped by the meeting of the minds event, and my dad introduced me to you. That's what's happening for sure. Do you take your music more serious? more still as being fun because you love doing it or is it just business at the end of the day nah it's never for me like i never really on that business thing. Like, everything for me is all about pure creative love but i do take it a bit more serious because now you know yeah, i used to make beats man, you know at the crib and you know i didn't really see nothing from it. now you know i can make a beat and i can i can i can see something from it now you know you know i can i can put that beat can turn to a house you know that beat can turn to a company so, you know, like, I take my, I definitely take my music a lot more serious now. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I, I can get it in certain avenues that it can be. Right. That's big, man. That's big. Because, you know, you kind of want to put all all levels of entertainment on the same level. Some cats get into the NFL and get lazy. Man, like, you can't do that, man. You got to stay on your toes. Because at the end of the day, there's a thousand million kids that's literally doper than you. That can take your spot at any second. So, you always got to find your uniqueness, your sound, and, you know, to keep working. Because there's, like, a lot of people doing the same thing. So, you got to, you know, you got to always figure you got a way to stand out. That's what's happening. That's what's happening, man. Real talk. So, let me ask you this. You spoke on your brother, Ahmad. Yeah. Dope R&B singer. What's going on with him? Can I see a Hayes Banger Ahmad project coming soon? Yeah, with him, you know, he's been the right time. I, I told him to be patient, man, because, you know, like, my life is so busy and I've been doing so much, and we just, I don't want to rush nothing. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a big quality person. I'm just huge on quality. And I told him, like, you know, I mean, we're going to we definitely do music together. It's going to be the right time. You know, when I got the right space, when I got the right head space, my folks so you. So right now, he's just for developing as an artist, you know, using San Diego really as like a as a, uh, as a place to develop shows around town, record music. So when we do, you know, when it, when our time comes to make music, it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect. So you know, he just developing, man. And I used to do a lot of music with a lot of people. I don't do music with now only because I had to like take the time to get myself right and create a platform where I can go back and now reach back and work with certain people. You know, so like you don't, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't just make music to make it or just. Project and mixtape, but I like I like to 
take my time and hone in on full projects and, you know, really go in on them. I don't want to just, just do it just to do it. So, you know, I'm trying to create a platform where I can, the artists that I want to work with, and we can, you know, have, a, have the proper setup for it and, and not just waste your time. But, you know, you, you know, it's on the same day. So it's fair to say after Lil Bro, you coming home to get some heat and expose San Diego. Oh yeah, that's that's always in the front, man. I already got my guy, one of my guy, uh, San Diego Preston Harris. He's about to try to deal with Rock Nation. You know what I mean? That's just off my being like one of the ones that actually ready. Cause, you know, there's a lot of talent that not everybody's ready. So I'm trying to get the Speaking to people being ready, take me, give me a little brief history on what got you to the position where you at and your relationship with Hit Boy. Um, well, I used to work at a record label called Shoelace Entertainment. It was, a, um, it was an Indian record label on a reservation I used to work for for about two years. You know, Dago Braves, I Rock, you know, I, mean, I used to work at Big and I'm called Chad. A lot of, like, a lot of, like, artists I used to work with. And I got, I got a chance to, like, develop my engineering and mix and all that stuff. And then, um, you know, when the department got shut down, I was like, I had to figure myself out, like, oh, one more thing to get. Yeah. Oh, literally. And I, I started traveling to the Bay Area. And then, you know, I started going to Las Vegas and really just getting around and just getting my stuff out there. And I used to, uh, it's got to audio push. And then it's a group that, uh, that, that song hit boy, one of his first, um, artists, he tried to label. And, um, yeah, I just, I just, I used, I just used to send them beats all, all the time. And then one day I was in the Bay Area, I had a session. And um, it was like, yo, change some beats, man. ASAP, we're in the city with him, boy. And I just sent him like a little batch of beats. And then I got, uh, woke up the next morning with a text from my phone, somebody hit boy, hit me. You know, we had, we had a good chemistry. And that was 2012. We've been working ever since. That's real big, man. Real talk. And congrats to all your success, man. The, the million dollar question, man. What's it like being in the studio with Beyonce and Jay? Um, it's kind of. I, I, I always had like a certain type of perception of what I thought it was going to be. And it, was, it definitely was nothing what I thought it was going to be, but I actually kind of feel because it's like you amongst your peers at that point, you know, on a professional music level. You know, like, instead of having, like, a, instead, of, instead of being starstruck, you know, like, this is Jay-Z and Beyonce, it's more like this is like your, this is your peers that you're working with. You know, y'all, you, you're here for a reason, you know, they got you. You know, there's a reason why you're in the city with them. So instead of, like, you know, taking the fan route and taking the star shot, star, like, you know, Time to work, really. So it's just like, it's just, you know, it's a little, it's a little bit cool because, you know, obviously it's been about the same. I just got that in work mode. You know, I got to deliver. So really, you know, my, I'm always speaking that, man. Work on, like, over. Like, I'm, I'm like, a, I, I work hard, man. That's all I do is work. So I never really find myself in a situation where I'm just getting caught up in that whole life. Everything is just work to me. So, you know. That's what's happening, man. That's what's happening. A lot of dope producers out of here in San Diego, man. They all want to get that that Hayes Banger status, man. Any word to the C's? Well, actually, a brother by the name of C's on the Slaps is working his way up, man. So, uh, so I feel like any, anybody can say as a producer, man, like, like I'm saying, you, man, master your craft because when you hit L.A. and get other parts of the industry, there's going to be a lot of talented producers and extremely talented. Like, you got to be in your A game and you got to compete. Simple as that, man. Man, we appreciate your time, Hayes Banger. Thank you, man. Salute. Do you want to give any shout outs before you go? Yeah, man, I got a lot of shout outs. Shout out to like, my boy Irox, shout out to my boy Diego Braves, Odo. Shout out to the dudes. Shout out to my special order family out there in San Diego I used to uh, work with. Um, and, well, shout out to Hartman, the Dot Cave. Well, I know it's Dot Cave no more, but shout out to the Dot Cave. Uh, shout out 
Uh, 12 Gauge. Right. Um, shout out. Man, man, a lot of, it's a lot of people, man. The whole scene out there, man. That's what's up, man. We appreciate you, Hayes Banger. Again, thank you for your time. Much success in the future, loved one. Real talk.